Hey guys, and welcome to the first video in the Webinar Crusher training series. Uh, this is gonna be, uh, the first video is called The Welcome. It may seem pretty straightforward. This is really gonna be in the first few minutes of when you're just jumping on your webinar and getting everything started. Uh, there's a few things, few tricks and secrets that I have used over the years that have worked really well in terms of getting people hyped up and, and engaged uh, when you do come on your webinar. So I thought we would kind of break down uh, just the first few minutes of your webinar. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is is welcome your audience, okay? Welcome them, make them feel at home, make them feel like you know, they can ask questions and that you want to engage your audience, okay? So what I always like to do, I like to do a quick sound check, uh, make sure people can hear me okay, make sure that they can see uh, your screen. Believe me, I've had a number of webinars where I just start talking to people or start, start presenting the webinar and no one could hear me. So make sure that people can hear you and see the screen. There's no technical difficulties, uh, that your audio volume is, is okay. So make sure that you just do that in the very beginning. Start engaging with your audience, asking, you know, where where are you calling in from? Getting them getting their attention. Okay. Odds are they may be on they've been on the call for you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes before the, the webinar starts. So, hey, you know, get their attention, get them typing into the chat box to get them, uh, you know, uh, engaged. So I always like to ask them, where are you calling in from? What's your name? Um, really be excited and energetic about the webinar because the more energetic and excited you are, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to seep through to them and they're going to be excited and they're going to be more attentive. Now, this is an optional um, spot here. You can introduce your presenter. If you don't have a presenter, then obviously you're you're going to be the only the only person. But if you're a host and and you're um, you're uh, you're going to be inter introducing a presenter, obviously you want to hype them up. You know why you want to explain why they should be paying attention to the presenter. Okay, um, maybe some accolades. You know what? Just a brief, really quick rundown of exactly who they are. Um, you don't necessarily need to go into detail because usually the presenter is going to explain in more depth who they are and why they should be paying attention to them, but try to hit home some of the, the real points as to why they should be paying attention to the presenter. Whenever I talk uh, or whenever I introduce a presenter, I always try to figure out you know what is it that makes them an industry expert in terms of the content that you're gonna be presenting. Okay. Um, make sure you review the presentation ahead of time. Um, say why you can't wait to listen to the presenter. So if you, if you're hosting a webinar and the presenter, um, you know, it's not your content, it's the presenter's content, ask if, and, and see if you can get that content ahead of time, just so you can say, Hey, you know, I was, I was able to, you know, go through the, the slides or I was able to, um, talk to the presenter before this this webinar, and this is why I can't wait to listen to this this presentation. So again, making it seem like hey, we're, we're all together on this presentation, um, and and that you can't you yourself can't wait for this content. Okay. Um, I always like to tell them I'm going tell them that I'm going to be sitting right alongside them and taking notes too, just so they say hey, you know, well maybe th this guy's just hosting and, and just introducing the presenter and then he's skipping out and he's just going to you know go do something else with, during the webinar. Um, and so I always like to say, hey, I'm going to be sitting alongside taking notes. Um, also, you could maybe make it more of an in, uh, interactive webinar, depending on the type of webinar strategy you have set, maybe chiming in during certain parts of the presentation it just really depends on uh, the format that you're going to use for your webinar. But normally there's you know a host, there's a there's a presenter, okay? And then that presenter usually delivers the content and then does some sort of a pitch at the end. Okay? But nevertheless, I always like to say if, if I'm the host and I'm and I'm present or I'm introducing a presenter, I always like to say, "Hey, I'm I'm going to be sitting alongside you guys taking notes. This is going to be awesome content. I had a chance to review everything uh, ahead of time." Now the first slide, okay, the, the first slide is obviously what they're gonna see when you come on the call. So what you wanna do is keep it, uh, have have a, a compelling headline, okay? Don't just have it say, welcome to the webinar, okay? That's very generic. It doesn't really speak to why they came on the webinar in the first place. You have to remember that people that are signing up for your webinar, they're, you know, you're giving them some reasons as to why they should come on. So make sure you have a compelling headline. Uh, you can include things like, uh, you know, w uh, webinar information, just like uh, the, who the presenter is, who the hosts are. I always like to have headshots on that first slide just for, for personal branding. 
And most importantly on that first slide, you want to identify what that main problem or that pain point is that your webinar or your, your product that you're going to pitch on the webinar is going to solve. Okay, that's the main thing that you want to do on the first slide. So here's just a few examples of what I've used um, for my first slide. Okay, here's the first one, um, my secret formula for how I generated um, $97,627 in one month using the power of webinars. Okay, so if we break this down, and, and you guys probably saw this webinar, uh, you know, what what better way to show you know how i'm using webinars than to have some income proof there you know that i generated almost a hundred thousand dollars in just one month um using webinars okay and then i also say you know my proven copy and paste webinar blueprint i put that in there because when people hear copy and paste they feel that it's it's something tangible that they can apply into their business immediately so you can see that this is much more punchy and compelling than just saying welcome to tonight's webinar Okay, and then you can also see there's the headshots, who the who the host is and who the presenter. So really, I mean, it's nothing uh, revolutionary, if you will, but it's something very important to set the, the tone for your webinar. Okay, here's another one. How to increase your productivity by 300% and build a virtual empire with outsourcing. Okay, so obviously people that signed up for this webinar, they're, they're trying to improve in, um, you know, the, the efficiency of their business, trying to be more productive in their business. And so I'm identifying right here on the first slide, hey, I'm going to teach you how you can become um, more productive by, by 300% and how to build that virtual empire with outsourcing. Okay, so identif identified the problem. Okay, so these are just a few different examples. Again, the takeaway here is to identify that problem that, hey, this is what we're going to be solving on tonight's webinar. Okay. Now, what to expect? Okay, you're going to want to summarize what they're going to learn. Okay. Uh, all, I always ask them to to participate early and often. So I'll, I'll be asking them questions just to kind of get them to chime in. Uh, but then there's also going to be people asking questions throughout the webinar. So make sure that you're you're monitoring that type of stuff. Okay. I always like to say, you know, no, I always like to notify them, hey, you know, we are going to do a Q&A session, but we're going to try to hold it towards the end of the webinar. This way people know that, hey, if I if I ask questions in the beginning, they may not get answered until the end. So you're just preparing them and just kind of setting realistic expectations. Okay. So I always like to have a, my my second slide usually will be what what to expect. Okay. I'm going to summarize what exactly they're going to learn on the webinar. Now, this is optional. I always like to try to offer some sort of a bonus. People who stay till the end, uh, you know, a lot of people will drop off on the call after 30 minutes, 45 minutes, 60 minutes. Um, and so one way that uh, you can keep those people on the call is to say, hey, anyone who stays till the very end, I'm going to be providing you with a private link and you can download whatever it may be. So for this is an example of a, a free mind map that I offered where you know you get outsourcing tools and um, you know just kind of a recap of everything that was learned on the webinar and a quick guide um, to all the different resources that we talked about on the webinar. So um, th this is a great again offering a any type of bonus um, is a great way to keep people all the way till the end. Now <clears throat> what I like to do to get people going to get people engaged, is to start off with a question. Okay, so you know, I I just ask them flat out, hey, I'm requesting your participation. I'd love for you to uh, answer these questions in the chat box. So this is a really good way to get the dialogue started with people on the other end, right? I mean, when as you're presenting a webinar, it's it's a little bit harder to get them on on a live call with you. So the best way to do this is to get them typing in the chat box. This way, you can start talking to them directly, and that's one of the most important factors of or most important points of a webinar is being able to engage with your audience okay and be being interactive with them from the beginning okay so just to recap everything in the welcome it is pretty straightforward um, but <clears throat> then again there are a few points that I wanted to stress again identifying the the problem having a really good first slide um, engaging with your audience from the beginning and asking them to, to participate is so so vital so um, that is it for this uh, this first video, and we'll see you guys in the next one.